Genesis is in kindergarten. For them, what would we have in place? Virtual is gonna be very challenging for them and that's where parents come into the equation and we don't have time, especially when we have to work. Hey guys, guys we're, we're back, back with another video. video so as you see the title here y'all today we really want to talk about the kids experience returning back to school during this pandemic so before we get into this video i would definitely like for you to smash that like button and subscribe and comment down below all right so we're gonna have our discussion today all right so genesis is getting ready to answer her question you guys see her glasses looking all smart okay, intelligent jenny. okay jen jen okay. all right <laughs> all right so genesis what is going on in school so my teachers um um teach me spanish and my abcs and we talk about our five senses okay that's wonderful but although you're learning all these things in school genesis we uh understand that you have to wear your mask so why do you wear your mask in school for safety okay from and what from what is there a virus what is the name of the virus uh, um coronavirus okay all right so who want to open it up today um javi you want to give your experience so far so i'm in school is going so basically we're just starting into getting um work and we have like upcoming like projects to do so we're just getting started doing like actual work Okay, so how do you feel about returning back to school when you know you have to wear your mask? Is it uncomfortable? Do you like it? I mean, um, what has been your experience uh, returning back? Um, so my experience returning back to school, it wasn't bad, and I don't mind putting on the mask because okay. it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother. Okay, all right. So you get to do like um, you do PE and um, you wear it all throughout the day, right? Except for lunchtime. Um, actually, when I'm playing like actively sports like baseball, basketball, and football, mm -hmm. I take off my mask because I heard that it's not good to it's not good to put on your mask while doing like actively like sports or like doing like sports because it makes you harder to breathe. Okay. All right. Um, Jenea. Um, so as you guys know, I'm in high school now. You know, I'm a sophomore in high school. <laughs> Show <Okay>. off. <laughs> um, so like, it's kind of different because, you know, I was virtual last year. I was, I did virtual from since eighth grade. And so I did virtual in eighth grade and freshman year. So, um, it was coming back to school. It was actually pretty difficult because, you know, everyone already like had their own friends and had their own friend groups. So it's kind of harder to make friends as someone who came from virtual school because, you know, my I only had two friends, guys. <laughs> and they don't even come to my school. <laughs> they don't even live in the state. So, um, going back to school was like it wasn't like like I enjoy school because, you know, I I haven't been to school in so long. But now that I am in school, you know, with corona being around, everyone is getting sick from left to right. Like, everyone is getting sick. And um, we, we don't do hybrid school, which is basically like when you have school on some days and then you go home on certain days. No, we don't have that. But, put your foot down, Jenny. But, um, we do have regular school. And, you know, wearing, wearing mask is not that bad for me. It's just, and we live in Florida, and the climate is really hot. And my school is like an inside-outside school. So the classrooms are like inside, but then you have to get outside to get to your next class. And Florida, Florida's weather is really hot. And there's a lot of kids that go to my school. 
So it's kind of like difficult constantly walking from class to class when there's not only like it being hot, but there's a lot of students, like a lot, like it's literally packed. Wherever I go, it's packed and it's just, it's hot. I don't like wearing masks or, like when, when it's like that. But, you know, I don't mind because, you know, for my safety, for my family's safety, I don't mind wearing a mask. But it's not that, like, it's, it's difficult because, you, you know, you want to see everyone's faces. <laughs> right. But it's fine, you know. So school, it's not that bad for me. But I just, I wish that there wasn't corona so that I could take my mask off. Right. And um, so my reason for, like, I was hoping, well, they're, they're in school right now. But m one of my main thing, because uh, during the pandemic, I saw, you, you know, for, for me, they went to school virtually and they did well, but I felt like it was impacting like their social skills. So I felt like I wanted them to start back school for that reason. I mean, safety really comes first, but I was hoping that the school had a good um, uh, structure in place. Whereas like for me, I was thinking like at my, um, my work environment, right? I see like the the maintenance, like they will walk around and clean and you know, that type of thing. So I was hoping that the school system would practice the same principle where um, they will walk around and wipe and you know, clean their environment. But I see that it's, it's not the same, you know? So um, the kids, what, they spend what, six hours in school? Six? Oh, I wish. Whoa. Eight hours, guys. <laughs> <laughs> eight eight, eight Wait, to, like, no, nine. Is, isn't it okay. six hours? No, Mom. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's not count the time where we have to wake whoa. up and get on the bus whoa. and then go to school, end school, get back on the bus, walk okay. home. Okay. I, okay. Okay, so, so actually I have seven hours. Mm -hmm. I have seven hours of school. Yeah, so. It's about nine hours for me. Yeah, so, and, and that part kind of bothered me, you know, because I'm at work, and then I really think about them, because I hate the mask, y'all. I'm going to tell you the truth. I hate it. So, my job, you know, they want us all to be vaccinated, and so, um, temporary, I'm working from home, but um, they were calling us back within the center, and so I went ahead, and I, you know, I'm vaccinated, but... I really, really hate the mask. Even now that we have to wear the mask, vaccinated, you know, at one time they were saying we didn't have to wear it. Now because the high rise, you know, we have to, even though we're vaccinated, we still have to wear it. So, you know, it kind of have me thinking, did it make sense? But I guess it does in a sense. Um, just the thought of the kids wearing it all day bothers me. But as we said, it's really safety. Um, what about, like, how does everyone feel like you have friends in school? Do you guys have those discussion, like, about the mask and... Um, I... Um, go ahead, Javi. Well, well, let, well, let me ask one question real quick, because, um, Javi, right? Mm -hmm. Um, kids were exposed in his school, and because of that, he had to quarantine for almost two weeks. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, speaking of that, so, well, let me tell you guys how... People have been like getting ex like exposed for having. Well, I'm not sure for having, but like I, I'm guessing they've been getting papers about having to take the test because like they've been exposed to something. And lately, there's only been like a few people in my class. Like there's only been about like six people in my like six students per period I have. So like that's just crazy. Yeah, and so um, Genesis, what about you? Do you sit in groups in your class? Do you um, children get to play together? What it um, what? Tell me, what is your day like in school with your friends? Like playing with them. So do you sit together? Do you get to play with your friends still in the mask? Okay, and what about lunchtime? You take off your mask, so do you? Um, so do you take it off when you're in lunch, or when you're eating? That's when it's time to take it off. When I'm eating, that's the time to take it off, and also outside when I'm playing in the playground. Okay, so you get two chances to take it off for a little bit, and then you put it back on. 
Okay, so that isn't so bad. What um, about you, Jenea? Wait, so when we're using the bathroom. Oh, when you're using the bathroom as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess you guys get a little break, you know. Um, Jenea was out for um, two days because she wasn't feeling well either. Jenea, how did you feel? That was annoying. That was so annoying, guys. Like, I um basically, I had to stay home for like two days and a day and a half because I didn't feel well. And like, I like school, so I actually like wanted to go to school, but at the same time, I didn't because I didn't feel well at all. And then when I had to go back to school, I had to make up work, so it was just so annoying. But st in staying home. It's just like because I stayed home for so long during like virtual school, I'm tired of staying home, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it's not bad, but you know, when everyone else is at school and then you're home, it's boring. So, yeah. Good point. Yeah, like, okay, so, sorry, but. It's okay. But look, same thing, like, I was like. Sorry, y'all. Y'all heard that noise? It's a car riding, but go so, ahead, y'all. As I was saying, like, I was also sick. I had to stay for two weeks, like that we had said like a little bit ago. Um, so I had to stay for a little bit, and I felt like I did not feel good at all. Like I had like a headache. I had a headache. I had like a sore throat. Like I had a cold basically, and also I felt like really dizzy to the point I couldn't even walk properly. And yeah, it was it wasn't a good feeling. And then when I had to go back to school. It was on a Friday. My friends were telling me how there was so many work to do from when I came back, and then I had to do, I had to do like these two, like two to three tests, and and all of those tests had 64 questions, and it took three hours for me to finish. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, so because this is a discussion, mm -hmm. let me ask some questions. Okay. So, mom. Mm -hmm. Um. As a mom, how do you feel about um, like the safety of your children in school? Okay, so I'm gonna be really honest. A part of me feel like I want you guys to go virtually, but we don't even have that option anymore. Or um, I believe Florida virtual is still around, but I heard that it's they're not like. Um, they're not offering uh, offering it anymore because they're really trying to get the kids back in school. Um, I do worry about my kids, but I c constantly pray for them. I just wish the school system would practice more um, safety and cleaning up and you know those type of things. But it's not in place. So at this point, I'm kind of like confused between if. You know, if going back to school was the right thing to do, but then I have no choice because I can't have the kids staying home because right now there's no virtual. They took it out, you know, so that's not even an option anymore. Um, so right now I'm just playing, leaving the kids in God's hand. That's the only way to put it. So, okay, so you see how this is a discussion, right? Can I tell you, like, my opinion on that? Mm hmm So... When you're talking about the virtual part, like, right now, I like what the school is doing. Like, I like it how they tell us to, like, come back. At least you can, like, socialize with other people, talk to them and stuff. But at the same time, since this, like, pandemic is going on, um, I've, I wouldn't wish to go back on virtual because, like, it was, like, a lot of stuff, a lot of work that you have to remember. And everything is through, like, different sites and stuff. So, I like what they're doing, but I wish they just, uh, were, like, a little more stricter on, like, like, being safe, like, putting on hand sanitizer, making sure, like, their masks are on, like, distance, like, like, I just wish they were more stricter on that, but, yeah. Well, um, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Um, I think that Florida could have done better with the way how they're doing this. I think that they should have, um, made hybrid school, just like, like, in New York. I know that for sure, like, there's some schools that, like, they have online and then some, like, some days inside. I mean, some days at school and some days online school. The reason why I say this is because, like, the thing is that you can, the way how they should have done it, in my opinion, was that if there's, like, a school, like, my school has about 2,500 kids plus. So I feel like they should, like, split that up, like, 
thousand kids each, right? And then like on certain days, these amount these kids go on Monday, Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, they they stay home. So like I f the reason why I think that they should have done that is because first of all, it could prevent more. I mean, yeah, it could prevent the coronavirus from spreading. Um, there's you can still socialize. You can still have the best of both worlds. And um, some people, some for some people, it's harder to like you know do schoolwork online, and for other people, it's easier for them to do schoolwork in person. And so, like depending on that person's you know way of learning, they can like test both sides and see which one they prefer. And not only that, but it's just easier. Like well, like let's say like I'm in school. Um, for for me, I prefer to I prefer. Oh my gosh, I keep studying. Hold on. Take it's okay, work. go ahead. For me, I prefer virtual learning because it's easier for me. But I also don't mind working in school because I like the school atmosphere. So if I had to make, so if I had to choose between those two, I would, you know, I would probably prefer staying home but I, or school. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know, guys. But I just, wait, oh. well, wait, guys, oh. hold on. Sorry. So, um, I just, <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, I, like, I just wish that they made hybrid school so that we can, uh, like, have both, you know? It's just easier that way. And, you know, like, yeah, just easier that, that, that way. And you can still have friends. You can still talk to people. You can, and plus, for, imagine going to school and, like, saying, wow, like, tomorrow I could just stay home and, like, in my bed and do school. <laughs> so, you like, know? a college um, thing, like a college yeah, setting, right? Yeah, yeah, Cause, yeah. Because, you know, with college, sometimes you um you do virtual and then, like, a combination. So, I do agree with her. Go so ahead, John. So, I was going to say, okay, so that's another opinion on what you're saying. So, like, listen, so, in my opinion, I feel like staying in school should be the better choice than virtual because... Like, okay, this goes to me, personally, but I feel like when you're on virtual, it, it makes you more distracted because it's other things around you. And when you're in school, you can focus You can focus on the work actually being in front of you. you there's nothing to be distracted on. You and go, my also, son. <laughs> they, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Learning but just, style. Right, right. But and Javi also, have a good point. Because, look, like, when I, I'm not going to lie, when I was in virtual... Mm -hmm. I used to be distracted, and every time I was on <laughs> my break, I would literally go straight to YouTube, and then go back to class when I'm, and, and go back to class when my break confess. is over. Confess. Hallelujah. Then, confess. Now, and my <laughs> grades weren't looking the best in virtual, so, and once I went back to school, I started it's focusing done. more, and I started, and I, and I was almost close to, like, being on the honor roll. I just had... Oh, basically one C because it was a 79%. So I was almost on honor roll because I was focusing in school. And another thing is for virtual, um, I feel like th it wouldn't really make sense being on virtual and going to school because you can still catch the pandemic. That's just basically saying you're going to you're going to school for like two days. Okay. Because you're still you could still get the pandemic from going to school. Okay. You can get the pandemic okay. to, going to, well, to well, going to Walmart. Okay, can I say like, something? Okay, so bingo. So Javi just said something, and I do agree um, with him in in at some point. But um, we got to think about the younger kids. Like, for example, Genesis. Genesis is in kindergarten. For them, what would we have in place? Virtual is going to be very challenging for them, and that's where parents come into the equation. And we don't have time, especially when we have to work. Now, let me just say, the main reason why I felt like the kids could return back to school, Janae just hit it. Like, I'm going to be very transparent. Like, if they could go to church, and if they could go to Walmart, and if they could go to the doctor office, and if they could go to the park, I feel like they can go to school. But like Janaea said, I feel like they can split it up, especially if there's a large volume of children. They can split it up just to, uh, you know, decrease uh, the, the spread. So for younger kids like um, Genesis and Javi, you know, I feel like it's really necessary for them to be in school because they need to really build their social skill 
working as a team and thing of that nature i feel and like the focused. and stay focused yeah um for for janaea now i feel like that makes sense what janaea said because they're more uh, more older and i feel like they can articulate it where um in and out three days you know to school two days home treat it like a college setting and and not only that but there's a lot more individuality in the high school because it's like they're like it's way different from middle school because they're more on like they're not on you you have to do like your own thing and i feel like the reason why that's it's like that is because they're preparing you to enter a college setting and so like what my mom said just like how college is i feel like that's that's another way to show us what a college setting is like by showing us you know you can go to school on this many days and then stay home on this many days and like it just teaches us more responsibility and for people who wouldn't like that idea i mean stay at school then all right let me ask okay <laughs> all right so Je genesis even though we're going through the pandemic you still like to go to school and being around your friends right why why do you like to go to school every day it's because like i get to do fun things and do fun tests tests okay. are fun jenny like i think what she means by like fun tests is like games that have to do well no class. in pre-k well no you're in kindergarten in kindergarten tests are fun so yeah okay all right and then um I don't know. I feel like they manipulate them. They love dress up and they wear prizes if they keep quiet. All that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Genesis really like these kind of um, things. I guess when she reach uh, first and second grade, that's where the the, the challenge comes. So yes. for right now in kindergarten, I, I guess it's fun uh, the activity. But Genesis, you want to continue going to school, sweetheart? Even though there's a pandemic, you still want to go, right? As long as you wear your mask. And the thing is, I like I actually like love going to school, mm -hmm. like now, because like each class for me is like each class for me is like thirty to forty or thirty to fifty minutes, which is short. Just like because being in elementary, like I had like two classes. <laughs> <laughs> Two classes? One is two hours, the other one is one hour. Like, like okay, okay. that's just too long for me to see the same teacher every single day. <laughs> Instead, I have seven classes seeing different teachers for 30 to 50 minutes. Oh, so and it doesn't thing, put you to sleep. Yeah, because I'm tired of seeing this. Like, no, like, not even trying to be rude. Like, Boy, I'm you tired. go to school to learn. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing the same teachers. Okay. <laughs> hey, Janae, don't you ever get one of those teachers that always eat in salads? Oh my <laughs> gosh. gosh. Yeah. And coffee. Yeah. They didn't drink coffee. Like, <laughs> Guys, I'm not throwing any stuff on my Well, High I'm school. hoping Janae would pick a sport, but she feel like walking from the bus stop. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's that exercise. It's exercise. It is exercise. So, He's let late. me tell Wait, 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 wait. wait let's <laughs> not go there. Let me tell you. She promised me that when school starts back she's gonna go in volleyball mm -hmm. and then what netball and then as soon as she starts school the second day oh, it, uh, okay guys for me is a sport already. <laughs> i need them to understand the amount of bullets i sweat in school a day okay so guys listen 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 right my school is pretty much like a college campus which means we have to walk from building 12 to building 14 back and forth every day okay let's not count the cafeteria and the gym and the bus and the hot heat okay so i janae hey with the heavy book bag on lose a lot of weight <laughs> all right and okay. a lot of sweat so i don't need to join a sport if i'm if i'm already sweating enough I only Lazy. been in school, mom. I only been in school for like three weeks, and I already lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay. same thing too, Janaya. Tell mom, look, mom. Mm -hmm. Don't I have a heavy book bag, and I need the books. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I have a heavy book bag, and when you talk about like walking from room twelve to room fourteen, sixteen. No room, room, no building. Look. You know how you said <laughs> room. I said <laughs> building. Same thing. Same thing. But look, listen. <laughs> when I change classes, they're not just right next to each other. Sometimes Boy. they're inside, and sometimes you have to walk from like different. You have to walk to the other building and go outside to get into my class. Like my PE class, 
have to, like, I have a different, ca- like, I have a whole different room for the cafeteria. I have to walk through the cafeteria, go outside, go to the next building, and get into my PE room. Guys, he doesn't and understand the classes, pain I'm talking about. I have about. classes with them, and I have the same PE teacher three times a day. Okay. So, I also sweat, too, a lot. And I have PE, and I play PE for, like, at least 30 or minutes to an hour every single day. So, what about you, Jenny? Do you have PE as well? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? What do you do in PE? Well, I play with my friends out the playground. All right, so this explains why the children are in school. So I'm glad that we get to discuss, um, you know, during the pandemic, we know that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's scary. But at the same time, see, I mean, I'm not, it's not just me wanting to force them they actually like it you know and although it's a pandemic they're wearing their masks you know they're still okay right yeah. you agree yeah. genesis you agree Janea, you agree so that explain it while my children are still in school and the reason why you know they're still uh going through or starting back going to school during this pandemic all right, so let's wrap it up, guys. Okay, guys, so this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys smash that like button, subscribe, comment below, and yeah. Also, let us know which other videos you'd like for us or topic that you would like for us to talk about. We'll surely discuss it. Come on here, we'll talk about it. And also, drop your comments below if you have any question, concern, um, just in case if you want to talk about a specific topic. Or any I even video ideas exactly and check the description my emails all my contact information are down there and uh let me know share your thoughts with me don't forget click the notification bell so you would be able to get more of our videos as we produce them and Janea, lock it buh buh